So this is Scary Mommy blog, I believe. Uh huh. Um, Good to keep up with that. Yeah. Face recognition technology caused a Girl Scout mom to be kicked out of a Rockettes performance. Yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting uh, <clears throat> scenario when okay. we get into it. So let's just start here. We're not in Kansas anymore, people. Big Brother is definitely watching. No shit mommy yeah you're just catching up to that yeah jesus christ you fucking weekend warrior conspiracy theorist yeah come on man a mom is speaking out after a recent incident at radio city music hall kelly conlin and her daughter came to the new york city as part of a girl scout field trip to radio city music hall to see a christmas spectacular show with the radio city rockettes however conlin did not get to watch a christmas show with her daughter and other members of the girl scout tr- scout troop because she was removed by security after facial recognition technology recognized her. So she has been previously flagged for something? Or what the um, fuck? How did this work out? I guess we'll find now, out. Let's not use the F word. Oh, that, flagged. Sorry. Yeah. Um, was she queering around? <laughs> <laughs> Got herself in trouble. Now she wants to whine about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Conlon spoke to NBC New York about the off-putting experience. Quote, it was pretty s- simultaneous, I think, to me going, what? Simultaneous? Going through the metal detector that I yeah, heard. Yeah, was oh, that it? Yeah. What does that mean? Pretty simultaneous. I think going, th- oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I, heard, yeah. I, I know. I, oh, yeah. so it's like instantly. Yeah, that yeah, she, yeah, yeah. Heard I, over an intercom or loudspeaker. I heard them say, woman with long, dark hair and a gray scarf. Then she explained... That she was asked her name and to produce identification. I believe that they said our recognition picked you up, Conlon said. A sign inside Radio City states that facial recognition is used as a security measure to ensure safety for guests and employees. However, it's clear that Conlon, who was on a trip with Girl Scouts, for Pete's sake, posed no <laughs> threat. <laughs> um, now no. we're going to have to dig into the for Pete's sake, because I don't know where that came from and I don't like it. And... Uh, Look at this lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see she's, yeah, Is that her? I think so. I would have kicked her out too. I was going to say, did they just recognize that yeah, your that face she, was awful? Yeah. That like, excuse me, we don't like mean. your kind around here. Yeah. Yeah. You Fucking, look bad. All, none of the parts of your face go together, lady. Yeah. Like, why don't this you? This is like, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is an abomination made by Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is just of... like a mixed up woolly willy type of thing <laughs> gone wrong. <laughs> You know what I mean? She's yeah. like four different people that yeah. all got stuck together. And that's fine for her, Some but it's not fine for Radio City Music Hall. Emergency genetics last minute kind yeah. of like project. Patient yeah. zero. Yeah, we need Wednesday Adams hair and Pee Wee <laughs> Herman's cheeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Paul McCartney's mouth. Like, what oh, are yeah. we doing here? Yeah. And, and then they told me I couldn't stay. <laughs> and the people weren't even nice about it. Yeah, <laughs> she has her, his voice too. Yeah, because yeah, it's his oh. mouth. And then, then the next thing you know, the facial recognition took me out there. I told them all we need is love. <laughs> and they weren't <laughs> having none of the love. <laughs> All right, so what, how did this happen? What is, right, she, what is, is she a terrorist? What, what is this? The guards kicked her out of the show with the explanation that, the, that they knew she was an attorney. So this is where it gets kind of interesting to me. They knew my name before I told them. They knew the firm <laughs> I was associated with before I told them. And they told me I was not allowed to be there. So well, the comment. firm is one of those like four names, but they're all name, the names of where her face came from. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reach, but I'll, yeah, whatever. But I'll allow. Okay. I realized uh, like halfway through. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nah. you're like, this is not, I'm not going to be able to tie this up <laughs> <Yeah>. succinctly. <laughs> anyway. Conlon yeah. happens to be an associate with the New Jersey based law firm Davis, Saperstein, and Solomon. I should have waited. I know. Said, I was going to say that. Who are the names of all her face donors <laughs> there yeah. they are okay um her firm has been involved in a personal injury litigation against the restaurant venue that is now under the umbrella of madison square garden entertainment i don't practice in new york i'm not an attorney that works on any cases against msg conlin explained a spokesperson for msg entertainment released a statement where they doubled down on the decision to remove conlin from radio city msg instituted a straightforward policy that pre- precludes attorneys pursuing active litigation against the company okay. from attending ev- uh, events. Now, okay, so, so her, here's where her face was there claiming on a short list of people who yeah. they've decided aren't allowed to because they're, yeah, because they're pursuing. Uh, now, that's, but that, is this an ethical, can you, okay, so that is a, 
Here we go again with its private property. So yeah, you know. So in other words, nobody thing. associated with this law firm can attend a show at music uh, at a Radio City Music Hall because what are they going to do? Go fucking oh, oh I slipped. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Like, what are they doing? Gathering evidence? They're fucking exactly, there to see the right. Rockettes. What do you think she's... Get? Yeah, she's going to fucking Alex Mack under a door. <laughs> yeah, get some like, files oh, God, or something. Dun, 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 <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. I don't know. Now, what I do remember about stuff like this from the past is, you know, like, this is old shit, by the way. I remember now, I'm going to guess maybe 12 years ago, something like that. I remember there was a story about uh, Walmart using fecal re- facial fecal facial yeah, fecal recognition. facial recognition uh, <laughs> of its customers to uh, personalize in-store advertising. Okay, now remember let me that? stop you right there. Fecal recognition probably could be used at Walmart to identify their customers. Right, yeah. I mean, there's if some very... If they just go in the bathroom, there's a lot of feces. There's some very distinct patterns that have been left, yeah. <laughs> yes. um, it's like a Rorschach test. But no, so fucking wall. do you remember this where they were trying? I so don't. It was basically when they would have those little like screens that advertised on the aisles and stuff. They were trying to develop a system where there was facial recognition, you know, trackable by, uh, you know, like uh, Walmart cards, credit cards, or however the fuck they're doing it, and develop a facial recognition database to personalize ads to their customers. That's and idiotic. people responded like in a horrified way. Yeah, of course. Same as when they instituted like the thumbprint stuff, and yeah. generally consumers at that time were like, "Fuck <laughs> this, this is yeah, crazy." Yeah, yeah. I think they. Now- now, it may cares. be eroding to the yeah, point yeah. that nobody would care anymore, but generally in the past, people haven't responded well to this shit, but and I don't know about they? the ethical, um, I don't know about the ethical thing and exactly where it lands because part of me thinks, you know, if you own the place, like, I mean, you, I guess you can, you yeah, can do deny service to anyone, deny service to anyone and be creepy if you want. I, I would, but it, that's now, the frustrating what, part is, cons- yeah, though, like we just said, like consumers aren't going to like really respond in a way that would give them any actual repercussions for this you know people are still the, going but where's the line say say you where have does a the line be drawn yeah. yes 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 where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for those of you that something don't know tom said in a video yeah, a few weeks ago and somebody that, <laughs> and then somebody on our, our youtube clip fucking that's all they commented was Quite. my misstep in where speech. does the line be drawn <laughs> where does the line be drawn and i was yeah, just yeah. like you know what <laughs> This so, is where you fucking. Piece hey, of somebody shit. quoted this me on where, the internet. Yeah, what did they I'm say? I'm quoted. Yeah, and then it's that. Um, no, but couldn't you use this to um, sort of exclude people based on anything then? Race, religion, something like that. You could just make up something like, "Well, no, we don't like pe- you know, we we don't." Uh, I get it. I get this is like something that's with an ongoing litigation, but she has nothing to do with it. Yeah. She just is associated with somebody that is associated with. She's not even in the same city. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, so couldn't some unscrupulous actor use this type of thing to be, um, you know, discriminatory? And if, and if there was some information, some harmful, potentially harmful information that could be gleaned from attending a live performance at this venue, yeah, why? What, what are you doing? What and but what would prevent them from just hiring a? Private a person attorney, that doesn't work or I mean, there. sorry, private investigator or something like that, yeah. or whatever to go yeah. in. I mean, you're not or 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 putting on someone else's face that you've cut off, right? Which is clearly what this woman <laughs> actually did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would actually explain yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, they're like, no, no, no. She's like, by facial recognition, we is... mean we saw that your face was not yours, right? Clearly, <laughs> th- you're wearing someone else's face, man. Look, and Frankenstein. This is, this is not. She's like, this is not fair. It wasn't even my face. <laughs> uh, in an ironic twist, yeah. The the face that in she an had, erotic twist. The face that she had stolen was also banned. <laughs> <laughs> Is there more to this or what? <laughs> uh, are we yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, let's go back into it. Yeah. Um, Sam Davis, a partner at the firm where Conlon works, voices opinion on the matter. This whole scheme is a pretext for doing collective punishment on adversaries who would dare sue Madison Square Garden in their multi-billion-dollar network. That's what I mean. This just seems like some sort of like uh, poo-pooing somebody. Like, well, you're not allowing it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like. Couldn't you, I mean, I guess it is legal to just be like, uh, no, I don't like the Blantons or whatever. Like some local fucking, you know, business is like, no, they can just say, so this whole family can't come in. You're kicked out. Yeah. So I guess there's no story here. And I mean, it's less harmful than, I mean, we know this technology exists in airports, government buildings, wherever the fuck, you know what I mean? It's obviously been out there for years and years and years. You know? Yeah, obviously. And I mean, so 
really is there any going back at this point anyways yeah <laughs> it's, like, it's tough you know, to say um at this point we just go down with the ship i think and, yeah i mean i guess just, at this point you just start wearing other people's yeah it's gonna get crazy yeah, we just like, gotta wear other people's faces hey we got a fucking whole big batch of chinese mustaches over there oh that that's right might throw them for a loop yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to put multiple ones on. Hey, you're on with Tom and Vinny. What's up? Hello? This George. This, this is George Bailey. Huh? Hee haw. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, you're doing a George Bailey. <laughs> what is this? this? Oh, this is. Uh, George. This is... <laughs> George. It's, it's me, George. Yeah, this is an attempt at an It's a Wonderful Life Tom, impression. Tom, Tom, how do you... I do not know me. It's me, George. <laughs> I'm, I'm cold. And I'm, I'm frightened, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you, my, sir? My mouth, this is George mouth. Bailey from Bedford Falls. Uh. Uh, I, uh, I, I got this message from Sam Wainwright that, that <laughs> you and your... Friend, uh, Vincent, uh, bought a radio station, and, and, and it, it says here, uh-huh, go on, it says, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> now, it, here I'd like to... <laughs> Transition back into what did we talk about earlier? <laughs> now let's do a little Radioville training video. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Let's, let's talk about phone calls. Phone calls are fun. Now we love to hear from our super spreader army and oh, get boy, everyone involved. Dewey. But there's a few do's but and sometimes. don'ts. <laughs> Number Some one. Some calls can go awry. If you're Critchlow, do go fuck yourself. <laughs> and don't try to do any stupid characters. Now, that, that wasn't him. Oh, it wasn't? No, that oh, okay. was George Bailey from Bedford Falls. Yeah. From It's a Wonderful Life. And I'm not exactly sure what was going on there, but for some reason, it made me laugh. But let's, um... But yeah. Let's try to rein it in out there, people. Yeah. And, um, I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, hey. Nice. Yeah. 